What's going on guys, Kyger here. Today I have uh, Southeast Asia and global updates as well as when the next slime collaboration is as well as another one coming after that. So jumping first, we're talking about uh, SEA, Southeast Asia. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the S servers, ones that most people probably haven't heard of, are shutting down. This was widely considered the beta of the game and the biggest difference between the S servers in the global or Southeast Asia N servers is <clears throat> on S servers, you had three weapons with no swapping cooldown. Very ADD going on there. As well as requiring different materials to level up your equipment. It required dust to just rank up your equipment it required extra stuff to do everything in the game uh they got feedback knew that was bad so on in servers and global uh that is no longer the case this is on the 20th of june it, they are going to be ceasing uh development over there they're already ceasing things as we go uh, the 20th, which obviously already happened, uh, game events will cease, uh, customer service ceased, and then on the 20th, they'll be able to swap from, uh, S server to N servers, which N is just effectively the Southeast Asia version of global. And, uh, there'll be, right now you can already swap stuff, but until the 20th, they, they'll no longer be able to help you. So that's unfortunate, but it's kind of to be expected. Then uh, on Southeast Asia in servers, uh, we have a link right here for wind. And as we see, bam, 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 uh, four star and above, balloon flower and Eldewise. Eldewise is the newest wind fairy. So if you need copies of her, go ahead. Uh, if you want to do the full card pool, it's uh, 5,100 uh, seeds, and it has three rounds. So 15,000 uh, 15, seeds to do everything three times. Next, we have maze, and the end servers have a slightly different maze than over in global. In global. Uh, this would give you a 10 pool worth of seeds, which is effectively the same thing. Other options here as well. Uh, a main one here, which is unfortunate, like, I don't know why it's here, is 10 shards of a red card and 15 shards of a red card. Where in global, uh, at that tier, you'd be able to do the full red card, which is a 2 slash 2. So, I mean, now what they also have is uh, for the three days for logging in, they will get uh, 20 keys as well as two pulls for free, which is definitely nice. And how you should be doing the maze is actually doing it square by square manually because you can hit the gate and go. Whereas if you just do a full clear, it literally does a full clear and you can miss the chance of uh, going to the next uh, floor with only doing five or six squares. Then one of the biggest things for uh, Southeast Asia over here is the monthly check-in, which will give you, this is literally free-to-play 10Xs, as well as free-to-play red cards. This is one of the hugest things for Southeast Asia versus Global. Now making our way over to global, uh, right here, we have a selector for wind. You should definitely be skipping dandelion because she is available in the, uh, free, uh, pools, the yellow seeds. Uh, then you come to Hyakinth and Eldewise. Hyakinth is the stronger of the two in my opinion. But he's also the next one up on the chopping block to become free, like uh, Dandelion is. So you have to make a decision there. Uh, I went with Hyakinth 
uh, to get stars on him. And then what I'm doing is these are giving you shards back here. Once I get to 120, which is enough shards for uh, 60 shards, I'm using those to also get a copy of Eldewise. So you can kind of do it that way where you're pulling on the one that you really want and then using the extra shards to get a couple copies of the other one. Then we have a total consumption and total recharge. Uh, so you can recharge and then use the rewards from recharge on the consumption. So it is a little bit cheaper. This is $500 though of recharge. Though of note, this does go into the next month, so you can get the new monthly packages as well, as well as wait, because uh, over the weekend and things, there's uh, things that pop up, and then consumption, only thing you have to be careful with consumption is that it does not work on auction or converting into acorns or things like this. Some of the best uh, uses of this is events as well as uh, weekend sales that pop up, uh, you know, uh, Friday night at reset to Monday morning. Uh, there's cheaper things like 1200 instead of 1500 for a 10x ticket. Uh, those are good uses of this. Uh, and then if we keep going, we have a new event right here, Slot Machine. And Slot Machine seems unfinished. So I'm going to explain how it works, and then I'm going to explain why it doesn't seem to be working correctly. So if you click down here, 1x activate, you will spend 200 Kabbalah to get 100 tickets. To show you what the reward looks like, you will get the 100 tickets and one drop on the drop down. So as we see here, 3% chance to get the new mount. 97% chance to get anything else on the list with different percentages. And uh, there is no cap like with some other events like Balloon, uh, where if you throw enough darts, you will get everything pretty uh, quickly. There, You can kind of guesstimate exactly what it will cost. Where over here, uh, that boils down to the exchange on the right over here which if you go to pity for the mount is 6,600 tickets, which is 66 pools, which is 13,200 Kabbalah crystals. This is a bit cheaper than that because of the uh, consumption event, recharge slash consumption event, but that's still $200. Uh, or even if it's half, it's $100. Uh, a lot of people are getting quote unquote lucky on the 3% and getting it, but I think this is actually messed up because if we look at this page right here, it's 6,600 over here on the right, but also nothing over here has a, a ticket cost down here, but up here showing 4,000 tickets. So I think there was an error and it's supposed to be 4,000, which would be 8,000 Kabbalah which uh, 6000 is $100, uh, which would be less by like 15 20% based on the consumption recharge stuff. So it would be about $100, which is a, it's still $100 on a mobile game, but it is more reasonable than the over $200. Now, as far as other things to get, um, some people like getting these glyphs right here. Uh, let's see, these are the main ones I think you should be going for, is the traces, crystals, and uh, selections right here. Uh, if you are a bigger spender and you have some red cards, uh, red reroll tickets are okay if you have extra tickets. And the last two things I want to go over is one, we have a merge coming up on the 5th which is Wednesday so after uh, the next maintenance uh, on EU and EE check these uh, numbers see which ones affect you these are newer ones the older ones aren't really being affected 
Now, remember this kind of comes in waves, so expecting towards the end of June that we will have a SA South America and NA North America uh, merges coming as well. And then last but not least, the uh, next two uh, collaborations, Slime is having a rerun in July, and then in December there will be a new one. Now, right after Slime ended, there were two surveys that went, went out in-game. One was some questions about slime, about slime, how it was. Another one was several other... I kind of forget if they were anime or manga. A lot of them end up being both. But uh, there was a list of like five or six or so different ones of what the next one would be the one that uh popped out in my mind was rising of the shield hero uh that one was in there uh and there were several others i tried finding a screenshot with the list i couldn't find it if any of you have it send it to me i'll put it in the resources channel on my discord but uh a lot of people are uh, are wondering about these uh slime event was really good uh if if you have to pick one go for um milliam she is a pvp monster and uh the other two are fine i mean the other one is another holy uh diablo is a fire so and they require different things to rank up than other fairies i'll talk more about that once the rerun happens but giving you guys a heads up the big things to look out for is in july we had the slime and December we have a new one and also remember that the new class is supposed to be quarter four which would be the last three months of the year so October or November which or early December which was when uh, Lancer was released let me know what you guys think down below and until next time guys